this is what we did for that entire year. This was our focus as a family was to get through this. Tom and Becky Aruda are breathing a sigh of relief. Like a miracle, yeah, feels like a miracle, really. The couple from Henrico remember the pandemic, not just for lockdowns and isolation. Tom prides himself on staying healthy. I've never had a health problem before in my life, not even really a broken bone. He keeps fit by running and playing golf, among other activities. Everything was perfectly fine. After a checkup in August of 2020, the then 48-year-old father of two gets a clean bill of health. But three months later, Tom takes a turn. It didn't really hurt that bad. It just kind of bothered me if I moved in certain directions and whatnot. So I just kind of said, eh, it's a pull muscle. It's going to heal. In November of that year, his life deteriorates. So this was Thursday, and he looks fine. He looked healthy. When he started tasting blood. I looked in the mirror, and it was like, you know, if you've ever seen a Dracula film, you know, when they bite somebody and then their teeth are bleeding, that's what my teeth look like. Doctors diagnose him with leukemia. Becky says their lives change in an instant. And I walked in, and he was on the couch with his head in his hands. And I said, it's bad, isn't it? And he broke down crying, and he's like, yeah, it's bad. The vice president of IT at Dominion rushes to Massey Cancer Center. Tom starts chemo almost immediately. Yeah, it wasn't a good story. Um, you know, it was, they were kind of like, be thankful that you showed up when you did, because that you, you know, we'd be having a different conversation had you waited another month. The patient spends 34 lonely days in the hospital over the holidays. That's right before New Year's when my hair started to fall out. During COVID, he was allowed only one visitor daily. That was it for the whole day. There were no more visitors, so there were long days. He never, ever said, why me? Never. Becky visits her husband every chance she gets. I think one of the phrases that he said early on, like day one, was like, okay, let's do it. Let's just do this. After his first round of chemo fails, he faces a second long hospital stay. We did a lot of FaceTimes with the kids since we couldn't be there be together. There. I just didn't have any energy. It just sapped every ounce of energy that you could possibly have. Doctors and Tom agree the best course of action is a bone marrow transplant. It works. So the transplant was in the middle of April of 21. Pretty. Pretty quick, a couple months probably after the transplant where we kind of knew, hey, things are looking up. As soon as he possibly could swing a club, he was back playing golf. The gift from someone he doesn't know spares Tom's life. Tom has just one question for the donor. Why did you decide to do this? Because without that person, I'm probably not here. There aren't enough words to thank that person for their selflessness. Last fall, Tom and his loved ones walk in their first ever Light the Night event. Their goal, raise money and awareness. For me, it's, it's you know, I want to see all the other white lanterns. Because, you know, you kind of feel alone. Some days I look at him and I, I can't believe that happened. I just, I just can't believe it happened. Tom Aruda is not wasting his second chance at life. A new life, compliments of a generous stranger. It's been a long 18 months. Yeah, I've come out of the other end and everything looks good. Tom and Becky are keeping their promise to help others. On Saturday, the couple along with family and friends will gather in Innsbruck for Light the Night, which benefits the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.